All right, so Sam's gonna demonstrate. Daisy. 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 Wait, let me get it. Daisy. 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 Now oh, look at me. Barn. 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 <laughs> Barn. <laughs> She looked right at the door. Oh my gosh, you guys. Meet my new horse. <laughs> you got a new horse? <laughs> I got you know a new one? horse. Well, she looks brighter in the camera. Let me put it to Norma. You can't even see the white on her in real life on her. Oh my gosh. What the heck? So you guys know how Border Collies, when they're herding, they do the thing where they lay down flat. They lay completely flat. And what's funny is that da Molly does that and she taught Daisy to do it and it's hilarious. Like we were coming down here and then Daisy tried to herd Molly. I can't groom her when she's eating. I don't want all that dirt in her stall. But yeah, you guys, meet, meet my, Meet my new horse, my all black horse, you guys. One of these horses does not look like the others. Let's take a quick, quick look. Muddy, 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 muddy. Muddy, 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 all muddy. Clean, <laughs> clean, good girl. Oh my God, oh my gosh. What were you thinking? What? What were you thinking? <laughs> why? You, did you not know, Penny? You know why she did this? Because she has an appointment in the morning. She has an appointment. There was a time when I was lonely I was trying hard to get by Taking day by day I think this is the worst it's ever been. But baby, then you came along no one ever felt that strong Nothing's gonna hold us down Yeah, we are taking off the ground now Stay with me, we're aiming for the sky Anywhere, we'll get there by and by Stay with me, we're aiming for the sky Oh, what you want to go in for dinner, oh, don't you? Look at your hair! You want to go in for dinner? But look at you. Yeah, your hair's all dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh. You need so to... Apparently they were outside in the rain today. They're having the mud baths. Yeah. Right. So I did not get them a clean. We got one. Woo! Get out of the way. She is not clean. She is clean. She's a little bit clean. You guys, it was overwhelming. I couldn't clean them. I couldn't clean her. Look at, there's no hope in heck. Look at this mane. Look at the mane. She's got dreadlocks, you guys. It's gonna have to wait for tomorrow. The, the mane is gonna have to wait for morning. And then I'll finish brushing her in the morning too. She's a bath. Kids and animals, you guys, they're all the same. They know they're about to have an appointment and they get dirty. Look at me, I'm covered in dirt. Welcome to the world of horses. Good morning guys, welcome to a beautiful day on the day by day farm. Can I come in? Hello? Hi Pen. Hi girls. Oh, it kind of stinks in here. Oh my goodness, Penny Pickle. You're still a mess. 
Penny came in last night looking like a whole new horse and I had to figure her out. Anyway, welcome to today. Today, hopefully, it's going to be an exciting day. I have to just double check it with Sam, but today I'm having the vet come back and check on Penny. It's her Penny's update day. I'm excited to see what he says. I feel like she's doing better and we're going to see. I'm the kind of person that always likes to have the barn nice and clean before the vet comes. And my horse nice and clean before the vet comes. Everyone turns around and stares at me and says, oh my god, you're dirty. <laughs> what? Who? <Ew. laughs> you and Dad. I'm saying it to Molly. But you said it to me. <laughs> no, I said, oh my god, you're dirty. I didn't. I wasn't even looking at you. Well, then why is your face pointed towards me? I was pointing towards her. Yeah, Molly. Well, he likes to run in the mud looking at her. Yeah, and who doesn't like to get dirty? Daisy. Daisy's a clean girl. Which one of our horses is dirty? Mine, the one that vet is coming to see. Look how anyway. clean mine is. Yeah, she's look how clean white. she is. Like she's shining white, not a single drop of dirt on her. Except oh, I see a piece of. Yeah, not too bad though. <laughs> Anyways, I like everything to be nice and clean and all be prepared and ready for him so I'm not wasting his time. And then just when I need that to happen, God always is like, Laura, you don't control everything and you can't always be perfect. Not that I'm ever perfect. But to prove a point, he will give me a black horse the day before the vet comes. Like I haven't even been able to get all that out of her. I gotta oh, bring her back in. Oh my God, he's here. Go get her. <laughs> Okay, so I have the fastest vet visit ever. Got my receipt here, and basically, a Penny Pickle's the same, and she's doing great, and I'm just continuing to hand walk her. Absolutely no other issues. <laughs> I was a little worried, I don't know, I get paranoid, so I just wanted him to double check her, have a few questions that I wanted to ask him, and he came, and I asked the questions, and he's so good, like he explains things so well. And also, a lot of you guys were worried that we put Penny with a suspensory issue in the big field with grass and I asked him about that and how he explains it is basically that you need blood flow to get to affected areas so that they can heal without blood flow they can't heal and so there's like a fine line so there's like a fine line where you have to choose if it's better for them to stand in a stall and not have that increased blood flow for healing or if it's more beneficial for her to be able to move around and Penny for the most part doesn't ever run doesn't ever act crazy in the field she's like really quiet really good girl she seems to know what she can handle but most importantly her injury is not severe her issue is not severe it's just like a minor little thing that we're being extra super cautious to make sure that it doesn't get worse and we want to heal it exactly the right way so that it doesn't reoccur later that's why she's getting six to nine months off but anyway according to the vet you'll be back here in a few more months and we will um reassess then and do another ultrasound then so that's it that's it for penny also it was only 107 dollars 107 dollars is a cheap price to pay for peace of mind and for getting my questions answered i probably could have just messaged him <laughs> but i wanted him to check her so today we're bringing finney home so that selfie can have a much needed lesson you guys you know that she has to ride in storm saddle and She's not very happy about it, and she's not happy about it because she forgets how to ride in it. It's new to her. It's something different. It happens to me every time I ride in a different horse or a different saddle. <sighs> so, so we're bringing the boys home. I'm excited, and I wanted to show you guys something. You know we put in this new arena, and we haven't figured, like, we haven't, Sam's looking for something to grade it better. So we have higher spots and lower spots and just stuff that we just need to be able to grade it better. Um, but I want to show you guys how well we did in terms of drainage and buying the right kind of footing for our arena. So I'm going to show you guys. We've just had like two days basically of massive amounts of rain. And I'm going to show you guys if we have any wet spots in our arena from poor drainage. Basically I walked around this entire arena. And I've not found a single wet spot. <laughs> so in terms of drainage, we've done fantastic. And had the best help getting the arena put in. So, so somebody just drove in our yard, turned around, and then sat in our driveway and honked our horn for us to come out. I'm like, what the heck? How did, like, I don't know. Maybe I just grew up in a different area. I don't know. Like, I'll show you. So I don't even understand. I said, no. Sam, somebody's in our house. Anyway, so yeah, he honked 
his horn, sat in the driveway, honked the horn, and Sam had to go out. I guess that's the new COVID way of saying, hey, I'd like to ask you a question. What the heck? Can you like stand out of he, my He um, wants my hoop, my hay hoop. Got it last year, but I ran out of hay hoop. So he wants our poop? Yeah, last year. All right, we forgive him then. He can come here anytime he wants. <laughs> last year I gave him. Um, last year I. Stop it. I gave him a couple loads, and then that guy came and took it all. Remember? But he asked. He wants it, so he might come tomorrow and get. He's gonna it. take the whole thing. He's even gonna bring a tractor to take it. We got a package, and everybody be freaking out. All right, this way. Gabby thinks it's for her. I don't. Sam thinks it's his. Whose name is on it? Is it for me? It's for Laura. I checked the Amazon app and it says I have something arriving Monday, but nothing arriving today. I also ordered something for Gabby long ago that never showed up. Oh, what is it? That knife. Gabby wants a knife for working on the farm. For, for Whatever if it's a knife, you give it to Gabby. I don't think it's a knife. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. It's, wait, oh, it's a camera thing. <gasps> it's Pimo! You guys, this is exciting! Like, they do not know what they're missing. So, basically, you guys know that I, I told you guys I ordered this. It's Pivo. And, basically, you put this on your tripod, and you can put your phone on here, and you can film your rides. It follows you. But it's so much smarter than that. You can also send the link to the link, a link to your trainer. Your trainer can watch you riding through your your phone, and she can communicate with you through your AirPods, and therefore give you a lesson while she's not even near you. Like that's insane. This is exciting. This this just changed my day. This is amazing. So we're headed to pick up our boys. And I wanted to update you guys and let you know that our Trillium show, Gabby's very first Trillium show, that's a rated show. A lot of people, got, a lot of you guys don't know what Trillium means, but it's just one level of our rated shows here. So it's a step up for Gabby from what she's doing currently, which is just mostly schooling shows. So they've been posting show dates, but every time we get locked down longer and longer and longer, they have to cancel them. So she had a show date of June the 20th and we were so excited and it got canceled again. So they're doing it in July and August. So we're not, there won't be any Trillium shows in June. So this is the first time the storm's gonna be home this whole year. I'm excited. Stormy's coming home. Stormy's coming home. Okay, let's go get our stuff. Today's uh, ride is, I, told, I think I told you guys, is all about Sophie learning to feel comfortable in a different saddle. She can't hold her legs on you guys. I get it though. It's it like it's, it's, it's not really uncomfortable, but it's just not that comfy. But it's grippy. It's neutral. No, it's not. She says it's grippy. It's not. It is very grippy. It's grippier than yours. Comment below if you have ever ridden in another saddle that you haven't felt amazing in, that you feel like you can't ride as well in. Storm can't handle. The heat, like there are other dark horses just loving the sun. Stormy boy hates it. Like, you guys, he hates bugs, he can't tolerate them, and he hates the sun. Like he's just that kind of horse. <laughs> you feel everything strong, don't you? You're going home. You're going home, Storm. You're going home, handsome. All right. Let's do it, dirty boy. You know, you're not coming. I think Storm's like, oh, thank you, God, for putting me in front of the fan, bringing me out of the sun. We're going home, though. It's hot there, too. All right, we are home. Can we have that? Yeah, hurry up. Well, get your horse first. I'll give it to you in the barn. We're home, Storm. You're home. I don't know why, but I feel like the most excited that he's back. I wish we could keep him here. I wish we could keep him here. Whoa. <laughs> He'd be looking. <laughs> You're home, handsome. 
Look at those ears. <laughs> Let him look. Nothing's gonna hold us down. Cause we are taking off the ground now. Stay with me. We're aiming for the sky. Anywhere we'll get there by and by. Stay with me. We're aiming for the sky. Anywhere we'll get there. Alright, boys are here. Boys are here and Sophie's having a snack because let me tell you, she is grouchy. You want a snack too? Sometimes when we know we're going to be using a lot of energy, we got to have a snack. Hi, Princess Leia. Nice for you. Hi, Princess. Gabby just likes eating. Feels nice to bring our stuff in here. Oh, no, it does. I miss. I would keep him home. Why'd you close the door? Because it's a disaster. It's a disaster? Were you looking at the girls and being a disaster? I swear, this boy is our stallion. Aw, oh, he looks so calm. So Finn finally got his cross ties. These blue ones are his. Finally got his spot. This is his spot. The black ones are mine, the black ones. The black ones are Gabby's. Match your black breeches. Black, black, black. black, black. Her bedroom's black. You guys be noticing a trend here? Yeah, Gabby likes black. And it totally suits her personality. And that's okay. We're leaving all of our tack here because we gotta clean it. You remember Stormy Boy? Penny's really interested. Penny likes it. Penny likes a man. Storm is so manly. I like a man too. Like a nice strong man. You like a strong man, Penny Pickle? Gymnastic. We're coming in. Go to the door, Pen. Go to the door, we'll see you there. They probably didn't listen because Gabby closed the door on them. Oh, well, they listened. Penny's like, I love a dark, handsome man. Stop it. Love a dark, handsome man? Not talking to me. Hey, you like him? She likes him. Stormy, you like her? Is it love? Is it love? They're both super calm. I think she does like him though. Nothing's gonna hold us down. When we move one day, he'll be your brother and you'll be in a field together with all the big horses. Maybe. We'll see what will happen. Maybe, you, maybe you'll be next to them. What do you think about that? You want carrots? So Sophie had a great lesson and she just had a flat lesson. I feel like I have to say that all the time. She just had a nice flat lesson where she got used to the saddle. Sophie, do you feel like you got used to the saddle a little better? No, she did not. And Fiona and I both agree that Fiona and I both agree that Finn actually likes that saddle a lot. He was moving I out. I told you. Yeah, Gabby told me. I, I know. I, I know. Gabby told me. She said Finn likes my saddle. Finn likes my saddle better than he likes his saddle, and yeah. he he really did. So hopefully we're on to something new. And also, if you didn't watch the riding video, um, I was telling Fiona how the other saddle fitter, when Gabby was 11, she used to lean forward like Sophie, and she uh, shimmed the saddle to push Gabby back into a better position. And so we're hoping that that saddle will work the same kind of magic on Sophie. And if you did watch the riding video, did you notice any of that? Anyway, that is it for today's video. We're going to take the boys home, maybe put them out in the grass for a little bit and see what Stormy Boy does because you guys know he loves to be home. Uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. You might be wondering. Gabby did not have a lesson today because tomorrow something crazy is happening. And I'm excited to take you guys along with us. So we'll see you then. Don't you know that you